sometimes damage is just that like this guy's got a hole in his reefer or his trailer yep that's fun he also has plants going to be in this business anytime at all you're going to see things get broken and you're going to break things there's no way around it namely trailers trailers take the brunt of everything on a larger fleet they try to have three trailers to every one truck because a lot of these large fleets do a tremendous amount of dropping and hooking so you have to figure that a thousand truck fleet is going to try to have three to four thousand trailers it happens and that's a lot of trailers and that's a lot of damage and when you have that many trailers the statistics go up so in this video I'm going to talk about how trailers get damaged how to identify the damage and your responsibility towards it because it's time when things like this happen you got to cover yourself now let's just get the obvious stuff out of the way like tires you're gonna blow a tire I've blown I don't know how many tires I've blown I don't blow as many as I used to because I buy good tires. And the company I'm with doesn't buy used tires or caps, they buy new. And I like that. But regardless, even the new ones do blow eventually. So when you blow a tire, chances are you're gonna break something. You're gonna tear something up, you know, rip mud flaps off, bent hangers, might even go up into the trailer. It happens. So don't worry about that if that happens call your company do whatever you need to do to get it fixed tires blow don't sweat over that but we're not talking about things that are just going to happen naturally we're let's you know like tires and whatnot this is how to identify other stuff because you know you, you got you you're going to break stuff people are going to break stuff for you and shag drivers they're going to tear things up on a whole new whole scale level so we're going to talk about those three and uh, so let's just dive right into it. I caught this little gem with my dash cam. What is that? What you saw there was a busted hinge on a door. That happens when a guy goes into a dock and he's not square and he hits the edge of the dock. A lot of times they have uh, metal dividers that keep people from hitting the building and those things will destroy a door if you're going to be in this business you're going to break things and most likely the first thing you'll break is probably going to be a door as long as you don't rip it off i mean that happens too most of the doors i've seen ripped off have just been out of sheer carelessness but those are stories for other days but whether you break the inside of the door or the outside of the door chances are you're going to break a door so we'll go over some door damage most of the damage that's going to happen on the doors is going to happen with them open so this is what we need to work on here the insides of the doors when you open the doors on a trailer the trailer becomes about 18 inches wider it's about like this much on each side and you have to make allowances for that uh, dry vans are different you know you can fold them pretty much flush. It's probably two to three inches on each side. But a reefer, those those doors are this thick, and then you have the hinges, and then, you know. So, when I say most of the damage happens with the doors open, if you're going to get caught or somebody's going to catch you, it's going to be on the forward edge, which is the inside of the doors when they're closed in the middle. But if you're going to tear it up. I've seen more drivers tear up their doors when they're open. They'll tear up the uh, the back edges of them, hitting them with the dock. So that's just something. If you see a trailer like that to where uh, the edges of the doors when they're open on the front are tore up, that's what happened. They caught it while driving or somebody backed into it. But if they're tore up at the edge, end of the trailer on the edges, uh, that's from 
backing into a dock. So that's something you need to watch out for. If those aren't in good shape, the trailer may not seal. I've had a lot of trailers to where you have it and they literally will start icing up around the edges because the end is damaged. So that can be something that can get you in a bit of trouble, so just watch it. And if you notice some fresh damage, make sure you report it because that's the kind of stuff needs to get fixed. One of the things that gets beat up on these trailers are these things right here. They're those skirts for fuel efficiency and all that. I personally don't believe they do anything, but that's just me. Uh, but go back and give them a tap to make sure they're still uh, in good working order because uh, we've had them, people steal the uh, braces out from underneath them. So give them a tap, make sure they're in good working order and not flapping. When looking for damage, you should look high, you should look low, and truthfully, you're gonna find more damage up high than you will down low. People tend to run into a lot of stuff when uh, they don't realize it, like trees and branches and stuff are hanging a lot lower than they realize. And if you have one of these lights, if it comes on, make sure you check your tires, which you should have anyways. If they get down to 80 or 90, the, the light will come on so don't worry about that I did this and it was expensive luckily I didn't have to buy a tire I was looking right when I should have been looking left and ran over a pole there in Tennessee at the loves but it wasn't as bad as this guy here I have no idea how he did this at my last company I had to take care of this out in Rock Springs Wyoming guy sideswiped a U-Haul U-Haul did a number wrecked the truck wrecked the trailer it was bad deal and to this day, I still have no idea how this happened in a wide open five acre parking lot, but they found each other and it was neat. This kind of damage here is indicative of somebody backing into you. It goes all the way up, but you can tell it's old and with the sticker, it's been noted. One thing my company does that I like, if there's some superficial damage that's on the trailer, they'll put a little sticker there that way we know it's noted, we don't need to call it in. It's a time saver. Curbs like this, especially the rounded ones, are notorious for ripping mud flaps off, so watch it. And this kind of wear right here is indicative of just pulling into a lot of docks that have the surrounds around them. Uh, yeah, somebody hit that. As we sneak up the way, I want to show you something. This is what I was talking about, mud flaps. See, they pinch them between the curb and the tire and the tire rolls and it literally just peels them right off. This kind of damage is usually caused by the driver backing into something. Damage like that, if it's fresh, it'll be really shiny. But over a period of a week or two, it'll start really doling out, especially if it gets washed. So if you find some damage like that, but it's dirty, it's dull, Chances are it's been there a while. But if it's still fresh and has sharp edges left over from the, uh, on the curves, it's probably really new. While appearing docile, the shag truck is a trailer's worst enemy. And here's one in the wild that we happen to capture on film. One of the most destructive forces on earth when it comes to trailer damage are shag trucks. I mean, I have seen shag trucks destroy literally everything. They just, yeah. Here we see a shag truck in its natural environment. But much like feral dogs, they'll destroy everything they see, and if you approach them, they'll scatter. If the trailer had a natural enemy, that would be it. If you're picking up in a location where the shag trucks do the majority of the dropping and hooking around the yard and the placing of trailers, it's imperative that you go over your trailer with a fine tooth comb. Uh, is anything going to happen? It's hard to tell unless you drop that trailer yourself. Uh, a lot of times it's he said, she said. So you need to be very astute. If there's any damage, you need to note it before you hook up. Now, a lot of times if you find fresh damage and there's debris on the ground under it, that's obvious. Don't even hook up to the trailer. Go get some help. Go have it noted. Make sure that everything is taken care of. And 
I'll show you some jockey damage here. A yard jockey dropped this trailer on the asphalt and you could tell by the scrapes on the ground and he bent the landing gear and this was a very serious thing. So who do you report this to? This turned into a case of he said she said and uh, I had to call the company immediately make sure my self was covered and let the company make those decisions on what to do. But that's not the only thing that these yard jockeys have broken. The damage here was most likely caused by somebody doing a U-turn in a very tight yard. You have to stay on top of shag drivers. Given the opportunity, they'll disappear and hide for hours on end. I catch a lot of things on my dash cam, like this. This is why our trailers get tore up. These guys just don't pay attention. And this is how things happen. This is typical. At the end of the day, we just have to admit that damage gets caused by just a little bit of everything. I was hoping to have a more pointed discussion about this, but this video turned out to be a little more complex and harder to make than I thought it would be. Damage is damage. If you don't do it, but it's fresh, report it. This is These trailers are expensive. Um, and you can save yourself a lot of pain by dealing with it properly at the get-go. But I wanted to show people the different ways damage happens and different kinds of damage on these trailers. And I hope I've done that. Um, a lot of things that happen, they get damaged, we don't think about. Like backing into curbs, people don't think about that, you know. It's become such a bad problem that a lot of these trailers have spring-loaded mud flap hangers that actually roll down with the wheels because it's become such a problem and it's not only does it rip the mud flaps off it'll actually tear and bend the actual hangers on the trailers and on the old school ones you had to cut the whole bar off and re-weld a new piece um so a lot of things don't seem significant when they quite are a lot of things that are seem fairly significant really aren't when I busted that wheel, it looked bad. It wasn't half as bad as it looked. A new wheel, a new hub, I was on the road. Uh, of course, I had to pay for all of it, but that's just what happens when you do things like this. But damage is damage. And I hope I showed you a, a few ways that damage happens and, and maybe you can look at these things and prevent a lot of it. Um, I know uh, on the end of the trailers when I said the wear down the side, and you know, people are like, well, how does that wear get there? Because the doors are open. Why does that? Because a lot of these docks now, they open the doors from the inside. I didn't clarify that. So when you have the foam padding, it rubs up against the trailer like that, and then they open the doors from the inside. That's pretty common now with a lot of places that we pick up and load. So it'll wear, oh, about the first 10 inches, you'll have marks like that up and down. Nothing you can do about that. But aside from that, just be safe, be careful. Watch what you're doing, watch the end of your trailer and just go from there. I mean, you can't watch somebody else's stuff. Things are gonna get damaged. The important thing is keep your wits about you. Don't lose your mind. And when damage comes, take a step back, breathe, and deal with it, because it is what it is, so I appreciate it, thanks for watching, I hope this video wasn't too horrible, and uh, we'll see you next video.